Hello everybody, welcome back to the 40k Lowdown. And I'm talking about and get, giving a few predictions um, about the new Imperial Knight that uh, Games Workshop have teased at uh, LVO uh, today, or I think it might have been yesterday if you're watching this on the day it comes out. Um, so I should have the uh, preview that they put out up on screen now. Uh, so you can see it's a lot more stripped back, um, especially in the leg areas than uh, the uh, current Imperial Knights. Um, so in terms of that, uh, I think it's probably going to have uh, sort of a few, quite a few less wounds. So I'd say it's probably going to have in the region of maybe, uh, maybe like 18 or 20 wounds rather than the uh, 24, I think, that uh, Knights currently have. Maybe even a few, a few less than that. Um, I think it'll probably have around the same stat line apart from uh, the wounds, um, because I'm pretty sure knights are toughness eight, yeah, um, and I can't really see them making something that big, uh, not toughness eight, um, but it could be seven. We'll have to see, um, because um, by the look of it, it's going to be faster. Because um, to me, when I first saw it, I just thought. It, it looks a lot like um, one of the Mechanicus Iron Strider, like a, a knight put on Mechanicus Iron Strider legs. Um, that's what my initial reaction was. So I think it's going to be a lot faster. Um, I can't tell you uh, what current Imperial Knights go uh, speed wise, but I think this will probably be um, more like a sort of uh, 12 inch move or something like that. I actually can't, I can't remember how fast knights move. Um, but then in terms of guns, um, that looks like a new uh, kind of weapon that it has. Um, obviously, a lot smaller than uh, any of the weapons that are on current knights. Um, it, it looks like a melter gun. Um, obviously, we don't know yet whether that's going to be uh, one of the uh, like the only options. I imagine it won't be. You can probably going to be able to put on, uh, judging by the current knights, you'll probably be able to put on like some kind of uh, Gatling cannon um, or something like that. Um, but that weapon obviously looks like a melter, so I'd predict it'll probably have maybe D3 shots. Probably be a D3 shot melter gun, essentially. Um, and then the chainsaw it has, um, obviously it looks, it's just a, a version of the chainsaw that knights currently have, but uh, like half the size. Um, so it'll probably just knock a strength or two um, off the current strength of the, uh, the chainsaw. And then obviously it's got the uh, melter gun on top as well. You'll probably be able to switch that out for a heavy stubber. Um, so I really like this model uh, personally. Um, but price wise, they said it's smaller. Um, I don't know how much smaller. So I'm sort of going to predict a £75 price tag for this one. Um, and at that price, um, I'm not sure if I would want it. I think at that price I'd rather just pay the extra tenner to uh, get the whole knight, the whole package, because power-wise, um, I'd predict this is probably going to come in at about 20-ish, um, maybe a bit lower. Obviously, we've got no idea what the stats are, but that's my prediction. So, for the extra tenner, I think it's probably might like with the information we have so far, I think it's probably going to be worth it um, to just get the bigger knight. But obviously, we can't really comment on that until we have uh, all the information. Um, but just from this teaser, uh, I do like the model. I don't like it as much as the, the current knights. Um, I think it, I, I don't really know. I think the, the top looks a bit too uh, bulky. Um, for the legs, as I said, I think it looks like they've just stuck a, a knight torso on top of some Mechanicus legs, like the Mechanicus Iron Swither legs. Uh, but overall, I think it's a pretty cool model. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing one in the flesh. Uh, seeing its stat line and seeing what other stuff uh, they bring out in the near future. Thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, please consider leaving a like and subscribing if you enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a comment as well with your thoughts on this night. Thank you for watching. I'll speak to you again soon.